one of Peter's great strengths is he was always skeptical about just about everything. It, it made him a great journalist uh, and often made him spot on when other people were going for conventional wisdom. Uh, as an aside, uh, later, um, uh, Peter was the one that I remember, at least in our newsroom, who expressed skepticism about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Uh, and he and I, ironically, more than once had the discussion in the lead up to the war when we were talking about how we would cover it and you know what the plans were for the military and how it would work out. More than once, I would say, well, whatever happens if we go in, we will find WMD. Uh, and bear in mind, we were at this point putting reporters ready to go at embeds, and they had all of their gear, their, their chemical suits and things like that they were drilling with. So we, we really believed it was there. And there were lots of sources, really lots of credible sources that said there were weapons of mass destruction. So it's not like we didn't report the story. But every time, Peter would say, don't be so sure, David. Uh, so Peter was skeptical. I mean, I think we all would have been better if we followed his skepticism. I think not because he knew something that we didn't know, but he knew a lot about the world. He'd covered a lot of stories. Uh, he knew just to generally be skeptical, and he particularly knew that part of the world. And he knew that nothing ever was as it seemed. Uh, and and uh, so I wish I'd followed him there. In my way of thinking, Peter was the, the greatest live news um, anchor of his generation. There was nobody like Peter live. Uh, and, and it, he was... He, he knew who he was. He, he could report on the air, because he was a great reporter. He could filter this and know what to report and what not to report. He knew what to question, even live on the air, of correspondence or people phoning in or something like that. Mm -hmm.